Welcome to our second class. In the last class you learned about the terms bold, vision, and economic development. Today, we'll discuss the term public consultation. Oh, that's easy. That's where politicians consult the public. Not always. In some places, it is where politicians gather select people or interest groups they already know support a program or project. And then ask these people if they support council's bold vision, that is often claimed to help with economic development. Can you give an example of this? Yes. St. Albert had public consultations which tested support for the Capital Growth Fund. To pay for this council will have to borrow and pay back millions of dollars. At first the fund was capped at 40 million, but now it is unlimited. Each time they approve from the fund, taxes will go up. Council claims this will help economic development. How did they do the public consultations? They asked groups who would be eligible to receive the money if they would take it. They said yes. Council understood this as strong public support for the project. Do you have any other examples? Yes. Council asked common users of Service Place if they would support spending another $30 million to expand the facility. Many of the users said yes. They understood this to be general public support. Didn't they feel the need to ask a broader range of people? No. They were doing public consultations, not asking a broad range of people their opinion. Do you see the difference? Oh, okay, I now understand. So we need to find politicians that are not afraid to ask the general public for their opinion before implementing large costly bold visions? You are correct. Well done.